In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Memorare to St. Joseph. Remember, O most chaste spouse of the Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly to you, our spiritual father, and beg your protection. O foster father of the Redeemer, despise not our petitions, but in your goodness hear and answer us. Amen. Day 20 of our consecration to St. Joseph. Joseph most obedient. This is another powerful title for St. Joseph. To be obedient is to have trust. And St. Joseph was a man of trust. He trusted God. When God asked him and gave him the message to, to move, whatever that next step was, Joseph obeyed. He trusted that God's will be done. And so we ask God through the intercession of St. Joseph to help us to be more obedient, more obedient to his word, to his laws. You know, a lot of people think that being obedient is somehow something that takes away our freedom, when in fact it's just the opposite. Take, for example, driving a car. This is a perfect example. You can certainly disobey the stop sign, but if you do that, you risk the, the chance of not getting to your destination safely. Well, the same with God's laws. To obey his laws will ensure us arriving in our destination, which is heaven, safely. St. Joseph is the model of obedience. Keeping in mind, again, as the foster father of Jesus, Jesus learned all of these virtues from his father. Obedience was one of them. And so we ask St. Joseph to help increase our virtue of obedience. And the purpose for our consecration is to grow stronger in our devotion to St. Joseph as well, asking him to intercede for us so that we can grow stronger in our faith, to be defenders of the faith, to be obedient to God, to trust God. And so as we close, let us pray to the sleeping St. Joseph. O St. Joseph, you are a man greatly favored by the Most High. The angel of the Lord appeared to you in dreams while you slept to warn you and guide you as you cared for the Holy Family. You were both silent and strong, a loyal and courageous protector. Dear St. Joseph, as you rest in the Lord, confident of his absolute power and goodness, look upon us. Please take our needs into your heart, dream of them, and present them to your son. Help us then, good St. Joseph, to hear the voice of God, to arise and act with love. We praise and thank God with joy. St. Joseph, we love you. Amen.